Well, good afternoon and welcome to what is going to be, I think, an autumnal uh, episode of the ball cam. Uh, the plan is now loosely for the remainder of October, November, possibly into December. I'm going to try and string a bit of a, an autumn campaign together uh, on my syndicate walk in the Midlands. So uh, you probably would have noticed if you've tuned in to, I think it was the June and August uh, episodes of ball cam that I've, uh, I've not been out for a little while. So it is great to be back out on the bank. Uh, and I absolutely, as I'm sure you guys do as well, um, adore fishing this time of year. You know, we've got that real change of seasons going on, uh, October into November. And certainly for myself, it's, uh, it's a time of year I love to be out on the bank. So yeah, well, we're out and we're, we're doing it. So uh, glasses are steaming up. I've got all the kit in the, uh, in the swim, in what is peg one. Uh, on my syndicate water in the Midlands, and it's yeah, it's looking uh, it's looking great, autumnal glory. Uh, I've got rods out, literally three single up baits just to kind of ease myself into, I think probably what will be a 24-hour session this week, and all being well, I'll be back down. Uh, I'll be down next week. So yeah, uh, last week's session didn't really go to plan. It looked good. I managed two nights and. Truth being told, I think I probably put too much bait in over two spots, fished two rods uh, at range over probably four or five kilos of hemp corn and pellet. And like I said, in retrospect, I think I probably put too much bait in. There was there was one fish out in the time that I was on the pond, uh, which came on, yeah, literally a handful of bait. So I think four or five kilos of hemp corn and pellet, or so, sorry, uh, pellet and corn. I think was too much so I'm definitely going to ease myself in on this session like I mentioned I've gone with three single hook baits uh, at 26 and 27 wraps just spread out in the middle of the pond and I'm going to keep an eye out see what I see this afternoon I think it's probably about three o'clock now uh, just keep an eye, eye out for some showers uh, as it stands it's only me on the pond which is just ridiculous for a Friday afternoon but I, I'd expect uh, some of the other members to come down. So yeah, that's where we're at the minute. It's looking good. The sun's out. Got a bit of moody cloud in the background. Sun's just sort of moving behind me now. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. It's looking really good. So yeah, time to get the shelter up and uh, get the old kettle on. So for now, it's ball come out. I shall catch you in a bit. Afternoon, five o'clock update, five p.m. I should say, and it's uh, yeah, it's been very, very quiet. Not seen a thing anywhere. Um, the advantage of being in this particular swim is it gives me a great vantage point over all of the lake, and I've literally seen nothing. So nothing really to go on. Uh, no particular reason to even consider redoing rods. Uh, so yeah, we'll just. Uh, We'll let afternoon draw into evening because darkness will be falling in about an hour. So yeah, that's autumn carp fishing. Nothing to go on as yet. I'll keep you posted. Ball come out. Yeah, well there's me saying I'd seen nothing. Uh, I've literally been watching probably for two hours and I've just seen one show so I'm going to crank a rod in and uh, put one near it. It's in the shallower water, probably in 14s or 15s whereas my rigs are in 19s and 20s. So uh, yeah, let's crank one in, get one on it. That bodes well, let's do it. Evening, darkness has fallen, and I managed to get a rig on that fish. And just in case you wondered, no, it hasn't gone. So anyway, yeah, we're um, we'll set with him for the evening. Let's see what happens. If I report back, it's because I've had something. If not, I'll see you in the morning. Ball come out. Catch you later. Morning. Quarter past seven. Saturday morning, and I've got one in the net. So the rod that I recast towards that showing fish 
yesterday evening, yeah, about 20 minutes ago, is gone. So, although I perhaps didn't get the quick bite that I'd hoped for yesterday evening, but no, that that's worth the treat. So, yeah, more than coincidence that obviously where that fish showed yesterday evening was where I've just had a bite now. So, that'll do. It's a mirror. It's not massive, but it's a fish. And uh, we're up and running and rolling on this Orton bull cam. Right, let's go and have a look at him. Catch you in a second. Bull cam out. Good morning. 21 2. Do you know what? When you've had a run of blanks, which is how it's been these uh, these last few weeks, just to see a carp irrespective of size is awesome. So, yeah, you'll do, mate. Actually, you're mega. Superb. Right. It's about half seven now. I've got about three hours before I got packed down. So, let's get Rob back out and see if we can have uh, some more action before it's time to go home. Superb. Okay, well that's me, done, packed up. It's just after nine o'clock, so I'm on track for uh, uh, my 9.30 uh, a.m. departure. I've got to get back up home, uh, a few family bits and pieces to attend to, and I've even got a flu jab booked in at 11 o'clock this morning. So, uh, yeah, what can I, uh, I suppose, what can I take away from this session? Well, uh, pink was the colour on the hook baits. I will go through presentation and rigs uh, next time when I'm down next week. Uh, yeah, so pink was the colour, and putting a hook bait on that showing fish yesterday evening certainly worked, although it was several hours later that I got the bite. Clearly, the fish wanted to be in that area, and interestingly, fishing two rods in an area which I know is sort of 19, 20 foot, coming a little bit further up the shelf into 14s or 15s, seemed to do the trick. And on the, the rod that I recast after having caught the fish, it just had a little sprig of what looked like relatively fresh weed growth so that's definitely something for me to ponder between now and uh, next Thursday when I get down so yeah food for thought as ever try and process it come up with a plan uh, but certainly I think I will be packing the pink hook baits uh, for the next session so yeah uh, it's been a it's been a decent overnight as ever with these shorter sessions they just go so quickly and you know let's be fair if you can uh, get a bite and land a fish uh, on sessions like this it's well worth the effort at this time of year so yeah that's it from me last few bits to get in the van and i'm out of here all come out be seeing you next time 
Well, good morning. It's Friday 29th of October and I'm back on the pond. Got down yesterday afternoon, around about three o'clock, and a bit of a difference from last week. Uh, there was a northwesterly blowing and the, uh, the swim I was in last week was pretty much in or off the back of the wind, so it was a bit more sheltered. Now with a direct southerly on this particular lake, it pretty much blasts off the, what I would class as the no fishing bank, where there's no, there's no dedicated swims. Um, and as I'm looking out in the pond now, uh, the southerly is still blowing really hard. Um, and as I'm looking right to left, so yeah, got down yesterday afternoon, incredibly warm for the time of year. I think it was 17 degrees in the, um, in the car driving down from Sheffield, which is just unheard of for this time of year. So yeah, real strong, probably 20 mile an hour southerly. Sun was out, a bit of broken cloud, and for the end of October, it's just, you know, just glorious conditions. Uh, but yeah, as the as afternoon sort of drew into, into evening, the plan was get rods out uh, in an area or a lightly looking area for, you know, for a couple of hours and just, and just watch. So I opted for what is peg one where I was in last week, uh, really because it gives such a good view of the lake. And then with just uh, rods or pop-up rigs with, you know, just with little bags on uh, and just have a rove around for a couple of hours. And if I actually saw anything, either within the swim I was fishing or elsewhere, then, then I had the option of a move. Well, long story short, didn't see anything. Um, and even into and after dusk, didn't see anything. And it was difficult to be fair to hear anything because of the wind. So yeah, as it stands, uh, nothing has occurred thus far. And I think we're about quarter to eight now. Um, and I'm gonna spend the morning watching and really just try and, try and go on any signs that I see, uh, which might lead me to figure, figure out where these fish might be. Well, I've not got a lot to go on at the minute. So for now, it's yeah, it's three up baits in the zone and the ball came out. Time to get the coffee on. I'll catch you in a bit. Afternoon, afternoon. It's about three o'clock now, so Friday afternoon. And it's been a bit of an odd day, if I'm honest. Um, we had a couple of really, really heavy uh, rain showers, storms earlier on, where the wind really picked up. Got an absolute battering, so it was literally zipped the bivvy door up and uh, hope for the best. On the fishing front, kind of the phase of this session where I was certainly hopeful, that kind of first light through to midday, nothing. And I've seen nothing either, which is a little bit, uh, a little bit annoying, really, a bit disconcerting because um, I need something to go on. So uh, I probably got to about 12 o'clock and it brightened up and the wind had just eased off a little bit. Um, I kept two rods that I put out yesterday afternoon um, out in the two areas, probably one in 14 for maybe one in 16 both on pink hook baits as per last week. And I thought I'd have a little bit of a, an exploration with the deeper can be really, really useful this time of year when you're not seeing things. Um, so probably had about two hours uh, sort of casting, letting it drift and just had, the, had my phone set up on, which is actually my camera tripod. Um, and I thought, well, I'll just, I'll just let it drift around. Anyway, just out of nowhere, it, it, it picked up a pocket of fish um, on the near side shelf literally as it, it kind of it goes down from six foot all the way down sort of get to 18 19s and then into 20 foot um, and it's only eight wraps out so it's only short it's catapult range uh, anyway i just hit a pocket of fish now what i don't know is it could have been a shoulder perch um, but it was just just a bit odd in one area there were sort of multiple hits coming up on the deeper so anyway my left hand rod i've cranked in uh, 
put that back out on the eight wrap spot and probably put half a kilo of boilie around it. As much as anything, just out of curiosity because I've got nothing else to go on. Um, and other than that, that's been it. You know, I've been chatting to, uh, there's been two other lads fishing while I've been down. Dave has packed up and gone home. He had a fish this morning, I think just under 30 pounds. So fair play to him. Um, and other than that, no one's seen a thing. Look, that's autumn carping and very much how it can be on these uh, deeper pits. You know, you can keep your eyes peeled all day and then all of a sudden uh, they'll let you know about their, their whereabouts. So yeah, I'm gonna keep on looking. Uh, darkness will probably fall in a couple of hours and rods are set. It's about all we can do. So for now it's ball come out. I shall report back hopefully later this evening with a bit of an update. Catch you in a bit. Morning, Saturday, 7.30 a.m. update. And I've had what I can best describe as a, a disturbed night. <laughs> um, yeah, not uh, anything to do with carp, unfortunately. The, um, the armada of tufties that have uh, descended upon the lake uh, yesterday evening. I could, I could hear them out there chattering away to themselves like they do. Like uh, an armada that have feathered wax <coughs> out on the pond. And uh, I'm sure they were talking about me, probably, uh, yeah, taking the mick out of me. And they, they did. So, yeah, after the second pickup, um, I had to redo the rod. So that was at about, I think the first one was about 2 a.m. Thanks for that. And then the second one was at 5 a.m. So yeah, it's not it's not been a night of great sleep nor carp catching prowess, but you know these uh, these things are sent to try. So uh, yeah, I'm probably going to give it a couple of hours and then it's pack down time. Um, we've got a bit of a weather change. The the wind, as predicted, has swung round now to a southwesterly, and it's brought a bit of rain with it. So it's going to be a damp pack down. But look, you know. It's no big deal, these things happen. Um, and other than that, not a great deal to report on. So yeah, two rods out in the pond, which was sort of really, was, was searchers. Um, I'd seen nothing yesterday to go on, so literally just roving single hook baits round, varying the depths, uh, sort of into the 12s, just off the bar, um, 14s, 15s. Um, then I'd move rods into 16s, 18s. And then I, I think I ended up with one rod actually yeah, in 20 foot. And then I've got my left hand rod, uh, which is just at the at sort of the bottom of the shelf, also in 20 foot uh, with that one over bait. So I, I think I've kind of mixed things up enough to probably have deserved a bite, but it's not happened thus far. Anyway, kettle on. I'm, I require some coffee. So for now, it's ball come out. Catch it a bit. Morning again. I'm kind of halfway packing down, but I did actually want to just do a quick section on the rigs I've been using in these sessions, and well, actually most of uh, most of this season. Right, excuse the close-up. I'm going to have to come in fairly close just so you can see it. I'll do some real close-up so you can see the rig components in more detail. So yeah, we've got a pop-up rig. Um, now that's a 16 mil pop-up, which is attached to a micro ring swivel. Uh, and then I've got some floss, which I've done uh, an overhand loop knot and teased it down and just put a small bait stop in position. So that's actually trapped uh, in position with a, with a small rubber bead, um, signet component. And then that is a size 4 signet choddy hook. Really, really impressed with the sharpness out of the packet of these. They are superb. Not found any advantage or need to sharpen. And uh, yeah, been really, really impressed with them in terms of hook to landed ratio of fish has been, you know, it's been really, really good. I've barely lost a fish on them all season. Uh, so yeah, short section of bristle filament, which is crimped into position. Uh, and that's with a small loop on the end attached to a size eight ring swivel. And that's what's giving me my counterbalance weight versus the pop-up. Then I've got six inches of semi-stiff hook link. Um, that's a medium uh, Signet Klinger tungsten weight. Uh, probably 40 mil or 50 mil up the hook link and then I've got one of the small uh, signet anti-tangle sleeves which again have been superb now um, I've got figure of eight loop knot on the end uh, which I can just att attach to uh, a quick chain swivel on the leg clip setup so nothing particularly uh, complicated there 
Uh, if any of you have seen the uh, the ball cam on Grenville, very very similar rig to what myself and Jason were using on there. And uh, if I'm pop up fishing either over bait or single hook baits, can't beat it. So there we go. Nice weather to pack down in. One absolute joy. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was that. All packed up, soaked to the skin, and I think I've timed my pack down absolutely to perfection. So, probably the heaviest rain shower this morning. And it well and truly got me. So yeah, that's uh, that's that for this session. So I think that's uh, that might now be five nights for one bite on this uh, this autumn campaign. But you know what? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna keep things going and uh, continue to document the highs and lows uh, through this uh, ball cam video. And well, we'll see you again in a couple of weeks. So it'll be November then. Uh, but thankfully, this place does fish uh, into November, December. So. Yeah, just need to get myself back down here. So yeah, a couple of weeks away, you've got other things to uh, to contend with, and then I'll be uh, I'll be back down. Right, let's get out of here. Need to get home, get some food, clear my glasses, and I need a shower. So, ball cam out. See you in November. Well, good afternoon. It's uh, yeah, fast forward three weeks from when I was last on the pond, uh, when I got an absolute soak in. It's now uh, Friday, the 19th of uh, November. So yeah, time is really cracking on. Like November is just moving through so quickly, and um, I almost feel for like this autumn mini campaign. You know, the clock really is ticking. Uh, it's December soon, and we still really haven't had a change of weather. So it's still really, really mild. Uh, it's been like 15 degrees today. So yeah, it feels good, looks good. Um, I've literally uh, got to the lake about half an hour ago. Um, I've had a wander round, one other angler on. Um, it was up in the swim that I've actually fished on the last session. He's had two bites. So I've opted for a swim just off the back of the wind in the middle of the lake. Um, as much as anything just on a hunch um, I fished this swim before quite a bit actually this time last year sort of through um, October and November and there's a few spots that I know which I think I'm just going to drop back onto so yeah um, time to get some rods out before it gets dark Morning, morning, 9 a.m. update, and I've got news. I'll just add one. Unreal. Just sat on, um, just sat on my bed chair watching the water and the right-hand rod. I've had a couple of bleeps, and I've got up, wellies on, walked out to the rods, and the bobbin's just pulled up tight. Sure enough, lifted into a fish, uh, hooked at just under 100 yards, and it's just steady kited to my left, and I knew straight away it was a good one. And um, sure enough, I've got big common in the net, and it's it's one of the big girls. Unbelievable. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, good things come to those that wait, and it's uh, yeah, there's been a lot of waiting this autumn so far. So yeah, I'm absolutely made up. Anyway, let's go and have a look at her in the net. Ball come out. Catch you in a bit. Here we go. Check that out. 
just a fraction under 40 pound and absolutely a bit of November magic. I've been away from the pond for a couple of weeks and what a way to get this session off to an absolute flyer. Rods out after dark, bait in after dark and then nine o'clock this morning, off we go. Absolutely amazing. Well, that is that. I can't really complain with one fish, just under 40 pounds. So yeah, I think the session has absolutely been a success. So yeah, it's about half past nine now. Uh, pretty much everything's wrapped up. All I've got to do now is just put a bit of bait in before I leave. So I'll probably give them maybe half a kilo of that same cell and liquid liver and a bit of pellet and a bit of ground bait. And so I'm gonna try and get myself back down next week, Thursday. So yeah, be seeing you. For now, ball come out. Even the ducks are laughing at me. Afternoon. Another working week has passed. It's now Friday the 26th of November. So yeah, this, uh, this little mini series has kind of been going on for about five weeks now and I'm, I'm pleased to say I'm back on the pond. So right at the back end of uh, November now. Real weather change this week. It's been particularly cold and if the weather yesterday was anything to go by, we've got some big winds coming up and it's gonna drop even colder. So. Uh, yeah, so Friday afternoon fishing. Only me on the pond, surprisingly. I don't know whether the weather has put other people off, but yeah, I've got the place to myself. I've dropped back into the swim I was in last week, peg three. Uh, put two rods out on the area where I got the bite last week. One on the bait, which I've also topped up with five or six bombs of cell and liquid liver. And then I've put one just off to the left uh, of the same area. And then the other rod, I'm gonna rove around uh, probably with a bag and some chops and just you know if I see anything I'll um, I'll have a cast at it but I've not seen anything thus far but it's yeah dropping back into the same sw swim as last week getting back on the area where I probably put half a kilo of bait in before I left uh, last Sunday so yeah we're back we're on it this is probably gonna be uh, probably the last session uh, that I'm gonna film for this this autumn series I think once we're into December it's kind of proper winter fishing and might have a few plans this uh, this coming winter of where I'm going to fish. Might stay on uh, on the syndicate or might have a little flit about elsewhere and have a bit of fun. So we'll see. But yeah, got about 24 hours. or actually no, probably less than 24 hours. I've got until I'd say probably 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. So there's enough time. See what happens. Right, let's have a look out in the pond. It's looking good. Very good. Ball come out. Afternoon. Caught a four update Friday afternoon. I've uh, rebaited and redone all three rods for this evening. So probably got about maybe another half an hour of good light. And yeah, we're set for the evening. So we, we shall see what happens. Um, not seen anything at all to go on throughout today. And I mentioned earlier on about a weather change. Well, there's now snow forecast <laughs> from uh, five o'clock tomorrow morning so yeah let's see what happens could get interesting might be a, a, a white pack down it'll be what it will be anyway 
Anything happens this evening, I shall report back. If not, I shall catch you in the morning. Ball came out. Be seeing you. Morning. Saturday. 8.30 a.m. update. Well, we've had a weather change. Hmm. Big winds overnight, as expected. Probably pushing 40, 45 miles an hour. So, yeah, it was a bit of a, a, bit of a rocky old night. Um, thankfully, the swim I'm in is actually quite sheltered. So, um, I've got railway track behind me. So, it actually kind of, it does act as a big buffer. And it just always feels like when a northwesterly's pushing, um, it comes over the top. So, yeah, I was kind of nestled out of the wind. Uh, nice and warm, all good. Um, no activity, however. Did get a um, couple of pickups by the Tufties in the uh, under the cover of darkness. They they seem to like doing that. They kind of leave me alone during the day, and then they start persecuting me at night. So uh, yeah, other than a few beeps and blips from the uh, the feathered critters, that's been about it. So uh, yeah, what else to report? Uh, not a lot actually. Um, only me in the pond last night. I would say probably the weather conditions have got something to do with that because I thought there would be some other nutter down here, but no, clearly it was just me. So, um, yeah, and we've got weather change. It's now snowing, so it's going to be it's going to be a white and wet pack down and a cold pack down at that. So, anyway, if um, this particular video segment ends up being uh, the final one, i.e., nothing happens between now and when I pack up. Uh, I will wish you all a very Merry Christmas, all the best for uh, uh, for 2022, Happy New Year and all of that and I hope everybody has a great Christmas break and uh, we'll come back fighting fit in 2022. So yeah, that could well be it from me if uh, nothing else happens. So anyway, until next time, ball come out, be seeing you.